Hello, Stephen Cruz here with MyMortgageBroker.com and Paragon Mortgages. And today I wanted to talk about payment frequency, more specifically bi-weekly payment frequency and why you shouldn't make bi-weekly payments depending on how you earn your income. I will just share my screen and then we can go from there. So don't make bi-weekly mortgage payments. And why do I say that? Sometimes bi-weekly mortgage payments are a good idea and sometimes they're not. And I've found that there's a bit of a controversy um, when I talk to clients about making different payments and how they can pay off their mortgage faster because they want to make their payments weekly or bi-weekly. And that can be true, but there's a reason why that is. So what I thought I would do is take a look at the different payments, how they work, and why you could potentially pay your mortgage off faster and why it might not be a good idea to choose a bi-weekly payment, but you can still pay off your mortgage faster another way. So in Canada, mortgages are, the interest on mortgages are calculated semi-annually, not in advance. Right, right there, I should have read that. Interest is calculated semi-annually, not in advance, which basically means that um, interest is not added to the front and then you, you pay off uh, the interest first before you start paying the principal. It, there, you have the mortgage for a period of time and then interest is, is accrued and added on and then you pay it off. So it's paid off over time. And so let's take a look at all the different frequencies right here. So on this side, I guess. Um, and the monthly payments, semi-monthly payment, semi -monthly payments, bi-weekly, weekly accelerated. So if we look at those payments, and let's just use $1,000 a month as a uh, guide. If you pay $1,000 a month, you would pay an equivalent payment is $500 every uh, twice a month, or uh, bi-weekly is $461.54 every two weeks. An accelerated bi-weekly payment is $500 every two weeks. And it's accelerated, which will pay off your mortgage faster. But if you pay any of these ones in black, it will not pay off your mortgage faster. And so we can look that over a year, uh, monthly payments, 12 monthly payments, works out to be $12,000. Um, $500 every twice a month or twice a month is $12,000. You can see here that accelerated bi-weekly payments, when you do $500 every two weeks, that works out to be $13,000 in a year because there's 26 bi-weekly periods. And so 500 times 26 is equal to 13,000. And so you're paying an extra $1,000 every year or $500 every six months. And that's what pays off the mortgage faster, not the frequency. And so many people think it's the frequency. It is not the frequency. So you can increase your monthly payments a little bit if you wanted. Make If you increase it to $1,083.33, then that would be $13,000 a year. Exactly the same as the accelerated biweekly payment. So, so let's take a look at the calendar. So why? what happens if you pay biweekly? So uh, this is this year's calendar. And let's say the payment or your mortgage payment comes out on every Friday. So on Friday the 3rd in January, then the 17th and the 31st, and then February the 14th and the 28th. So it just comes out every two weeks, like clockwork. If you are paid bi-weekly, which means your payments come out the same, you would get paid, then you pay your mortgage payment. You get paid, you pay your mortgage payment. So the bi-weekly payment's convenient and it can help you to, to pay off your mortgage faster if you choose to make the extra payment. However, what if you pay, were paid monthly? Let's say you're paid monthly, the first of the month, every month. In January, you get paid for the month, but you have three mortgage payments come out. That's significant. That's more than you kind of might have budgeted for. And then February, you only get two. March only two, but then again in July, you have three more mortgage payments that come out of your mortgage when you only had one pay. So I've had a, I had a teacher who got paid monthly and she came to me after a year of having a mortgage and said, you know, I don't know what's going on, but I can't seem to afford these payments. They keep falling behind. And that's because she chose bi-weekly uh, payment frequency. And so in July, when she's actually not generating any revenue, she's got three payments. And in, in the beginning of January, she's got three payments when she's only got one more monthly payment. So right after Christmas, she's got three mortgage payments. She's got things to pay for Christmas time. And then in July, she's got three payments when 
she's she's getting a lesser income over the summer because she's a teacher so it was really she was really struggling so we switched it back to monthly and it made it much better and she still wanted to accelerate her payment and she felt she could afford it when she looked at all her budgeting and so we increased her payment a little bit monthly payment a little bit but she wasn't paying all of that extra on two months of the year so it helped her out a lot so what if you get paid twice a month if you get paid on, say, the middle of the month, the 15th and the 30th, which, which some people get paid, then again, you, you look at payments here. January, you make three mortgage payments, but you only get two pays. February, you've got two pays, but your mortgage payment comes up before you get paid in, in March. Same again, in, sorry, February, same again in March. You, you do your mortgage payment and then you get paid. So you really have to be careful with your budgeting if you decide to choose biweekly payments when you get paid twice a month. And, and so the moral of the story is don't choose biweekly payments if you get paid monthly or if you get paid semi-monthly. If you get paid weekly or uh, every two weeks, then biweekly payments might be easier to budget for. And, and some people who get paid monthly who have lots of extra cash in their bank account and who budget for and account for that, you, you could probably still do it. But for most clients that I have talked to, don't choose biweekly payments if you're paid monthly. It's just not, it's just not, it makes it more difficult, should I say, for all of that. So I'm Stephen Cruz, mortgage broker. My website is mymortgagebroker.com and you can go in and see how much you can afford. You can use my calculator. If you log into mymortgagebroker.com, go into calculators and then there's this this page here, which will help you calculate your mortgage payments. It'll help you look and see how much the payment will be, depending on the amortization, the mortgage amount, all of that stuff. If you like the information on my video, please press the subscribe button below. Press the like. I love it when you press the like. Give me any comments or feedback in, in the, the comments below. And um, again, don't make bi-weekly mortgage payments if you are paid monthly. Thank you and have a great day.